You really regret being in the Fred movies. Okay, let's talk about it. Hey, it's the Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. This is queso, and I'm gonna eat it here live on camera. You've all been waiting for me to do a mukbang, and here it is. We're gonna mukbang it out. Sis, get yourself some food, get a little snack, and let's eat together. Yes, I am very healthy. So this is a LaCroix, a LaCroix. It's pretty much just water that smells like berries. Mm, 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 mm. Tastes like water, but I can get a hint of a berry smell, which thrills me. So I thought I would do the video that every YouTuber has done. Assumptions about me. Get to know me better. Honestly, I just wanted to see what you guys assume about me. I asked you guys on my Instagram for some assumptions and questions, and let's just get into it and start eating. Honey? Oh, start him with a bang. You had a secret relationship with the guy who played Kevin on Fred. Okay, I didn't know I'd have to address this so quick. By the way, these are tacos from Chipotle, chicken, light beans, cheese, spicy salsa, cause I'm not a little bitch. I can handle the spice. Give it to me, zaddy. Mm, hot damn, rub it onto my body. So me and the guy who played Kevin, I never knew you guys would pick up on that, but yes. No, we, we were just friends. Um, He's straight, as far as I know. I mean, who knows, everyone's gay these days, but he has girlfriends, so I'm just gonna assume he's straight. He's a great guy, he still acts in a bunch of stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure he was in a Lifetime movie. He was in It, I'm pretty sure. He is still slaying the game. He actually texted me a few months ago because his girlfriend watches my videos, so hey, Kevin's girlfriend. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks for watching, girl. Didn't you grow up in the country? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm from the great state of Nebraska. My house growing up was surrounded by cornfields. It was great, I loved it. We had a giant yard to run around in. There were sometimes cows next to our house. That was the shit. They had an electric fence to keep the cows not coming into our yard. And sometimes I would touch the electric fence for a little jolt. <laughs> That might have given me long-term brain damage, but I did do it a lot as a kid. Mm. <clears throat> I almost just choked on camera. I did a mukbang and it almost killed me. No clickbait. Oh, I feel like there's so much to focus on in this video. Like I'm trying to enjoy my meal. Okay, let's open up the queso while also answering these questions. I have a new respect for mukbangers. This is a lot to handle. Mm. They're queso though, and it hits. You really regret being in the Fred movies. <sighs> Okay, let's talk about it. So many of these assumptions were like, you hate Fred, you regret being Fred. Like, wow, tell me how you guys really feel about Fred, okay? To be honest, I don't regret being in the Fred movies at all. It was so fun. I know they were rated a zero on Rotten Tomatoes, but it was so fun. I remember being on set and just being like, what the hell? Like, how am I filming a movie right now? What? This isn't real life. John Cena was there? Like, I still don't believe that was real. John Cena wasn't in it. It was like a fake John Cena. Like what John mother effing Cena threw me onto a couch. Roughly. I do not regret that. Why would I regret that? You're gay? No. What? Ew. I am straight and I am in no way sexually attracted to John Cena. So get that straight, okay? Obviously I'm gay. I'm pretty sure people ask that as a joke. I think I'm one of those lucky people who like when you see me, you just know gay. So you don't really even have to ask, you know? You are secretly living a double life as a stripper. Thanks for that question, Kristen. <sighs> I didn't want to talk about this on the internet. I do strip in my bathroom, no audience, at least once a day. I've never stripped professionally, but that would be cool to try once. Like, are there even male strip clubs? Like, I know there's so many strip clubs of girls, but that'd be so funny. Just go on stage one night and strip. Like, seriously, not even a joke at all. Butt naked, lap dances, work that pole, do twists all the moves. Like that would be fun to do one night and I'm not ruling it out. I'll definitely do that at some point in my life. I think I'll save that for my 50s. Okay, somebody assumed that I'm very confident. <laughs> Me just including the good ones. Honestly though, thank you to all the nice people who assumed like, they were like, you're confident, you're smart. Like, thank you. There was one guy who sent like literally 15 assumptions just saying mean things like, you're old, you suck, your content's bad. And I was like, you know what, thanks. Thanks for literally sending in 15 submissions to my little Instagram story. Nobody sent in that many except him. And he's the hater. Keep giving me that engagement. Mm, mm, mm. Ugh, life with haters. Just kidding. Am I confident? I mean, I guess. I think it's one of those things where like, it switches, you know? Like there'll be some situations where I'm like, I feel confident, I feel great. And then there'll be the same situation another day where I don't feel confident. And I'll just be walking in weird, you know? Everyone has weird days. I'm not one of those people who's just confident every day. Are there even people like that? I feel like that's John Cena though. He could be confident in any situation. 
<laughs> or like Jennifer Lopez. Like I feel like she's always confident. I'm not to that level, but I do feel like, you know, I like myself. It's good to like yourself, guys. Make love to yourself. It's healthy. Am I now a self-help YouTuber? Damn, you bleached your bum. <laughs> No, I have not. That's actually a thing. People bleach their asses. I haven't ever done it, but I want to open up a center. So when I go to family reunions, I'll be like, what are you up to, Lucas? And I'll be like, yeah, I still do YouTube and stuff. I have a podcast and I also have a bum bleaching center where you bleach your bum. I can give you a 10% off Groupon. You weren't actually Fred. You just look like him. Shit. Are people catching on? Mm -mm -mm. Can you imagine if for this long, I played along that I was Fred and I wasn't actually him? Like the guy who played Fred just disappeared from the internet and I wasn't him. And for some reason he didn't correct anyone that I wasn't him. That would be iconic. That sounds like a documentary. You have lots of threesomes? Oh my God. People be thinking I'm adventurous and shit. People think I'm confident and then I have threesomes and I bleach my ass. Is this the image I'm giving off? I am proud. Never had a threesome. Mm -mm -mm. It just feels like somebody would be left out, you know? And I feel like it would be me. I feel like it would be like, oh, this is awesome at the beginning. And then 30 minutes in, I'd be sitting in the corner being like, should I just leave? Nobody's paid attention to me for the past 20 minutes. So I think I'm gonna leave. Bye guys. Like, does that happen? I bet you that happens. Because I've heard stories of people having these threesomes and they say like, oh yeah, like I didn't even want to hook up with both of them. I just thought one of them was hot. You know, you've got it, right? Thumbs up for that. <laughs> You're a bottom. I got a lot of these. Anytime a gay person does a Q&A, I feel like half the questions are just like, are you a top, are you a bottom? Mm, mm, mm. Like, why aren't we asking the straights that kind of stuff? What positions do y'all like, heteros? My answer to this question is on, um, I'll give an analogy, a metaphor. Say you like vanilla ice cream and you like chocolate ice cream. You don't have to pick one. A piece of lettuce just flew out of my mouth as I'm talking about tops and bottoms. You don't want to pick between vanilla or chocolate ice cream. You like both, which is why they created the flavor twist. You don't gotta pick. Some people pick, I'm not gonna pick. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what is this video? You were really popular in school from Fred. I love you in the Chan Chan. Hell yes, Tula. Motherfucking Tula. Did Fred make me popular in high school? No, not at all. Um, I wasn't like a loner. Like I had my group of friends. We definitely weren't like the popular kids, but you know, we had fun. You're jealous that Jojo Siwa is also from Nebraska, but has more fame than you. Crying face. That's also coughing. Yes, I'm very jealous of Jojo Siwa. <laughs> Just kidding. She's a bad bitch. She's slaying the game. You look like the type of person to wash your hands after doing absolutely anything. That's weirdly specific and oddly true. Do I give off that vibe? I do wash my hands a lot. Even before Corona, I would wash my hands a lot of times. I'd be washing my hands just after anything. So I was prepared for this year. Mm, mm, mm. Ugh. They said we gotta wash our hands. I already do that. Shouldn't everyone wash their hands? You sick f Drop your booty guru skincare tips, queen. I'm very excited you asked this, Anne. I've always wanted to give my skincare routine. You know, my usual content, I can never really fit it in, but I'm down to have my beauty guru moment. Let's do it. So my skincare routine is Vanna Cream Gentle Cleanser. It's a very good cleanser, minimal ingredient, very great for sensitive skin for all skin types. Very affordable. Besides that, I use Murad Oil Mattifying SPF. You gotta use your sunscreen, queens. Put that SPF on. I feel I feel like high ram. I'm the new high ram. Move over high ram. I'm the high ram. You gotta use your SPF queens. I use Aquaphor lip balm. Hell yes. At nighttime, use the Vanna cream as well. Then I use tretinoin, which is a great ingredient. It's prescription only, so like talk to your dermatologist. And it just like clears acne, makes your skin vibrant. It's amazing. And also jojoba oil at night. Jojoba oil is the shit. I rub it on my face. I get the acne.org one. It lasts literally years. Like it just, it never ends. I've never gone through a whole one. Like they never end. So it's really worth your money. I assume you eat mac and cheese with ketchup. That's offensive. And I'm not here for this slander. I do not do that. I've done it before, but I don't do it on the regular. So don't ever come for me like that. Are you really John Cena's son? Let's hope not, because I'm pretty sure earlier in this video, I insinuated I was sexually attracted to him. So that would be all types of wrong. You're Obama? Yep, never thought you'd find out. <laughs> You have a receding hairline. So you push your hair to the front of your head so it's unnoticeable. Just slit my throat while you're at it, Abigail. She went right for the jugular. You know, my dad's bald. My grandpas are bald. I'm probably gonna go bald, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to get a weave at some point. It's gonna happen and it's gonna be bleach blonde. When did you come out? Oh my gosh, should I do like a mini coming out story? 
No, that's too long and emotionally exhausting. I came out when I was a senior in high school to my family, my friends, and then I came out on the internet a year later. It wasn't like a teen movie though. You know, like in a teen gay movie, like they come out at dinner and everyone's like crying. Like it wasn't like that. I just told one family member and then like slowly they told everyone else because I told them to and it just spread. Like there was never a moment. I remember I wanted to do it like that to be like a teen movie, be like at dinner being like, guys, I have an announcement. I'm gay. If you guys didn't know from my music taste, I'm gay. Like that sounds so awkward. Did anybody actually come out like that? Cause if you did, your life is a teen movie. You don't know how to say pregnant properly. I say pregnant just fine. So don't come for me. Pregnant, that's how you say it. Pregnant, you work out. Okay, she assumes I work out, which is kind of offensive in a way. Cause you shouldn't even have to assume that from looking at my body. Like it should just be, oh, he works out. Fact, it shouldn't be an assumption. When you see me behind this desk, everyone should be thinking he lifts. He's jacked. Realistic dream job if you weren't doing YouTube. I always said I would be a chiropractor. Maybe that, I'd have to go to school and I'd crack people's backs for a living. I would bend them and crack them and like put my shoulder into their spine. Did you poop? Never, never have. What is that? Do people do that? Do you have a man? Yes, um, I do have a man. And it's John Cena. Just kidding, no, it's not John Cena. You became very annoyed of pretending to be Fred towards the end. This is true. Um, I'm obviously so thankful I got to do all the cool stuff I got to do with Fred. But towards the end, I was a little annoyed because I wanted to try new things. But obviously my managers and stuff were like, no, you got to keep doing Fred because that's what's popping, you know? So it did kind of make me annoyed that I could never try anything new. I felt like I was stuck in a box. And also doing Fred the show, we would record like 14 hours a day, six days a week. And I had to see a throat doctor because my throat was getting damaged from screaming so much. I got paid so I can ruin my throat all you want, Nickelodeon. Destroy my throat for money. Doesn't sound like you're talking about a kid's show. You're still in contact with Nick after Fred this year. I think they meant contract. Can you imagine if I'm still under contract and I didn't know? That would suck. I'm pretty sure I'm out of contract. I don't even remember signing a contract, but I'm sure I did. Am I under contract still? Shit, I need to figure this out. I don't know. You just seem like you need avocado toast. Come for me, girl. Is this a way of saying I'm a basic bitch? Huh, Aliyah? Trimble? I'm not the biggest fan. I like avocado in burritos on sandwiches, but just on toast? It ain't the best. Like what are all of you guys doing out there? I don't think it's it. I don't want to offend anyone. I know a lot of people just unsubscribed from me saying that, but I said what I said. You really are Fred and Lucas is an act. Shit, I need to delete this out of the video. Are people gonna start catching on? They assume I've done sex with a stuffed animal. Ah, uh, nope, not yet. I've never thought about it. Banging a stuffed animal or doing the sex with a stuffed animal, but you never know. Not with an actual animal ever, but with a stuffed animal, like it could happen. We'll see if like there's a vibe. That's all I'm gonna respond to. Um, thanks to anyone who sent anything in. Follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on there if you want. Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell, give this a big old thumbs up with your fingers. I'm glad we got to eat together, you know? I hope some of you guys actually ate with me. It was great hanging out with you, Colin from Hawaii and Rebecca from Wyoming. You two especially. Bye.